everybody. everybody. We've been exploring different areas of Tokyo these days, and today we're at Tanozu Isle. We have been trying to pick up some areas that is quiet with less people, and now we're gonna exploring in Tenno's Isle. Um, one of the reasons we came here is that they have a nice bar in front of the canal, so we're gonna have some beer now, right? Yeah, I'm real excited. We finished the meal at TY Harbor now and we liked it a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we had catfish, fish and chips. We also had pokey, which is the Hawaiian tuna. And we had really good beer and just sitting out by the water here is awesome. Now, what exactly is Tenozu Island, Akina? It's just a reclaimed land close to like Hamamatsujo Station, which is close to Shinago Station, if you know how the blood train goes. And this area, it has quite a lot of water side because it has canal along and I think they started having apartments and having people move to here around 2000 yep. so quite a lot of things look very very new and modern very new very modern very quiet like it's nice to walk around here without a mask because there's not too many people and uh, it's just nice. It's actually quite close to just central downtown, but it's quite good. You know, you can see there's a lot of great places to take pictures. Akina's taking pictures with her new iPhone 11 here. Just trying to see how good a picture she can actually take. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like it here. It's not a place that any tourist would really know about. I definitely didn't know. So let's just check out more of it. What do you think? Well, we can see some max thing over there, so maybe we can go there. Yeah, let's check out that uh, sail. I guess we can turn here. All right, so we found the sail, and uh, as you can see, we're looking very purple right now. It's because there's this big uh, reflection of purple lights off this building. As a booze hound, I wish we had some kind of booze with us so that we can chill here, right? Now, I guess I found some uh, convenience store, so maybe we can walk to there and see if we can see Rainbow Bridge. We're kind of wondering how much it costs to live around here. <laughs> what do you think, Akina? This is my dream place to live in the future, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we'll aim for that in the future. We found the family mask, so I'm gonna wear the mask and go into the shop and get some booze. And if I don't like the answers, I'll never So we got our drinks and we were looking for a good vantage point to see the Rainbow Bridge and we actually found this really cool area that's lit up. You can sit out at night. So now we can see Rainbow Bridge and probably we see the bridge a lot bigger than actually camera can capture. And um, it's pretty good. So here we go. Cheers, Akino. Cheers. Nice little spot here. There's basically no one. Very quiet except for some hum of a uh, building the background. And we can see the monorail and we can also see Shinkansen goes around. And we have a view of Rainbow Bridge partially. Yeah, it's a very awesome area, very unique. Just something you would never hear about. So again, cheers to that, Bubby. Bubby. So anyway, that's all for our exploration of the Tanozu Island. I really liked it a lot. And if you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We're planning on doing a whole lot more. We also did a video about night photography spots with our friend Victor from Frame of Travel, so you might want to check that out as well. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope you have a real nice day. 
we're gonna chill with the drinks here and go home. If I fall behind,